What's up logical people, this is Amar. A rectangle is divided into 9 perfect squares. The smallest square, which is colored in black, has a side length of 4 cm. Can you calculate the area of the rectangle? Pause the video and think mathematically. I'd like to thank Krishna for sharing this very unique math puzzle. It's derived from the concept of squared square on which I'll post a detailed video in near future. Let's see how to solve this problem. Let's name the remaining 8 squares from A to H. You can name them in any order. And let's denote their respective side lengths in the lower case. Now the only possible square to start the calculation with is the black colored square. Side length of square B should be equal to the side length of square A plus 4. And this is our equation 1. The same way we can get the equation C equals B plus 4. And if we substitute the value of B from equation 1, we get the equation C equals A plus 8. Now D equals C plus 4. Substitute the value of C. We get D equals A plus 12. After three equations, we have managed to indirectly compare side length D with side length A. But we can also directly compare D with A as shown. So D plus 4 is equal to A plus E. From equation 3, we have D equals A plus 12. So we get the value of E and that's 16 centimeters. Now let's make some more equations. F is equal to D plus E. Substituting the values gives us the equation F equals A plus 28. G is equal to F plus E. So we get G equals A plus 44. H is equal to A plus B. And that's equal to 2A plus 4. Now as we have covered all the individual squares, it's time to make one or more equations using the side lengths of multiple squares in order to solve for the unknown variables. Based on the equations you make, it may take several attempts to find the value of a variable. But some equations can simply give you the desired result in a single attempt. One such simple equation is E plus G is equal to A plus H. Substitute the values of E and G, we get the value of H as 60 centimeters. Here is one more example which also gives the result as h equals 60 centimeters. Now as we have the value of h, we can put it in the equation 6 and we get the value of a as 28 centimeters. Now simply put the value of a in all the 5 equations and we get the value of each square's side length. And we can simply proceed with calculating the area of the rectangle. We can use any of the combinations of length into breadth. We get the answer as 16,896 square centimeters. In addition to the area of rectangle, we can also calculate the area of every square inside the rectangle. There can be multiple approaches for the solution. And I hope you have solved it correctly. I encourage you to share your solution in the comment section below so that we all can see the solution from different perspectives. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then, give a try to these tricky puzzles. Also check out aptitude problems on my channel, Logically Yours.